Well, good morning, uh, good afternoon, good evening, good grief. My name is Willie Lawson, and this is the Saxophone Factory. I trust that you are well today. Uh, in my last video, I did talk about reads. I wanted to talk about uh, how to how, how to pick a read. Uh, if you get sent to the music store and there's a thousand reads, uh, and then the guy asks you, well, how long have we been playing? You know what to say. I don't think they like Ruta Vegas. But I'm going to <clears throat> either clear some stuff up for you or make the, the make it the water just as muddy as muddy as possible. Um, I, I I I told you that reeds have different strengths and why they have different strengths. But between brands, there are some differences. And the chart that's up here, I'm going to spread to the rest of the screen so you can see it how much different some of the reads are. And I think that that's really, really important. Uh, so let's, let's go ahead and get started. Um, let's see if I can spread this out you know, without making a mess. Probably not, but let's see. There we are. Let's see if I can spread this over a little bit. Let's start here. Um, if you see at the top of the screen, we have uh, Vin, I don't know. I don't know that brand or Reserve. I know there's a um, th th there are brands you can buy on the internet called uh, call Reserve, and I I understand they're pretty good reads. But here's what the deal is: if we look down to where just below the the line there, uh, you will see Van Doren Traditional. Those are the blue box, what they call blue box Van Doren. And we're going to use those as a guide to measure the rest of the of, of the reads. Uh, we've got Van Doren's. They start at one, a one strength, and they go actually to a five. You see, they go all the way to a five. And that's why I mentioned what that two and a half is about the middle. Now, how the how other reads. And other strengths of reads relate to them is here on the chart. Let's see if we can. I don't know if I can move the chart. And I really can't move the chart. Well, actually, I can. Let's see if I can move the chart. Nope, that's not it. And that's not it at all. All right, anyway, we can see that if we look at the grand concert select reads, that's, that's right above them, you can see that a two and a half grand concert read is considerably softer you see at 2.5 2 than the Van Doren 2 strength read and we can see that a grand concert 3 is considerably softer than a Van Doren traditional 2.5 so if, we, if, if we're looking at everything through the eyes of the Van Doren traditional a concert uh, select read is about a three is about a two point two five. Okay, um, so that way that'll give you some something something to go for, or or something to go with. Now, if we look up a little higher there, you'll see. I re you remember that I mentioned Lavaz. Lavaz doesn't have numbers; they have words. And you will see that a Van Doren uh, 2 is harder than a Lavaz medium soft. I use the medium soft on a lot of times on my jazz mouthpiece, which is a little softer than a 2 Van Doren, Blue Box Van Doren. Um, and then a medium um, Lavaz is a little still softer than a 2.2.5. Um, Van Dorn read. So you can see there's there's a lot of times a lot of difference, a lot of a lot of difference. This is why, if you can, do some you know if you're a player, do some experimenting with the reads and mouthpieces to find the one that <clears throat> makes it easiest for you to play while getting the sound that you want to get and the response you want to get in all in in in, in every register of the instrument. So there are a lot of different choices. Uh, I don't 
and I know you're going to ask, I know you're going to write in the comments, what about the synthetic mouth? I mean, reeds, I like Legere. I don't have that information for you. Uh, I'm going to try to get it for you. Uh, but right now, I do not. Um, I do have a student that's using a Legere on tenor. Uh, and I think it's a, like a 2.5 or a medium or whatever. Or uh, 3, I'm sorry, on tenor. And it sounds good. Uh, he's playing it on a stock mouthpiece, on a stock Yamaha 4C mouthpiece on tenor. And it sounds good. Um, He's doing very well. Uh, and everything I hear about it, it's, it, it's super duper. So um, I don't think you ought to be afraid to try it. Because, um, again, everything I hear about it is very good. Um, a, a reed that I use a lot because you can buy it in a box of five. And I think that's important. That saves you some money and gives you some opportunity to try different strength reed is Hempke. You can see right under Royal, you can, you can see the word Hempke. And a... And a size 2 Hemke is a little softer than the Van Doren Blue Box or Van Doren Traditional. You see? It's a little softer than a Van Doren 2. Now when you get to the Van Doren Traditional 2.5, look up at the Hemke. The, the Hemke is a little bit softer, like a 2.25. And the Hemke 3 is about... A two and a half traditional. Hemke makes a three plus, which is really a, a 3.25, which is just like a two and a half read, a two and a half Van Dorn read. And you see, no, I mean, I'm sorry. Let me let me look at that again. That's a three plus, which is which is a 3.25, which is just like the Van Dorn three. You see the, the Hemke 3.5 is set in between the Van Dorn 3 and 3.5. And the 4 is the same thing. 4 is a little softer, like a 3.75. Uh, if, if you're doing it in relation to a Van Doren traditional. And there are um, other Van Dorens. There's a Juno a V16 and uh, all uh, any number of other types I'm going to see if I can, and I can't pull this up. I can't believe I can't grab this for you. I'm moving everything except what I want to move. There we go. I can, and I'm going to. You know, just don't give up. All right. Even in the Van Doren world, and a lot of people will, will see in the Van Doren world, there's all sorts of different kinds of cuts. And what I mean by cuts, it's how they, you know, how they're cut on in the front, um, the sides, there's all sorts of small variances that um, make make them buzz differently uh, or respond differently in different registers. And there they all are. I mean, there's the, um, the the V12, which is more of a classical mouthpiece, I mean, classical read. And you can see that their um, strengths sort of match up with the traditional but they start at two, two and a half because they are for mouthpieces that generally speaking, generally speaking, I'm saying again, generally speaking, have a smaller um, tip opening. Uh, and um, you'll see the Van, Do Van Doren V21, kind of the same thing. Now, if we go down to the Van Doren Java ZZ, those are... Obviously, they start at a one, and then a one and a half, a two, a two and a half, and the two and a half is, two and a half uh, Java is significantly softer than the Van Doren traditional, which just tells us this, that they're designed for a mouthpiece with a larger tip opening, more of a jazz thing, just like the Van Doren V16 and the Juno. If you look at the Juno on the last line, the three and a half is is about what a 2.25 Van Dorm traditional would be. So those are more for, frankly, they're just more for jazz um, or pop, rock and roll. Um, because what you're looking at then is you're trying to, let me move this out of the way, there you go. What you're trying to do is make it as easy to play as possible with a larger tip opening. That's what's going on there. 
All right, I, I hope this hasn't been too confusing or maybe we've muddied the water entirely so you can't see it at all. If you have questions about reads, um, there are some links in the other video, in the, in the, in the video we just did about uh, about reads or about mouthpieces, like the mouthpiece I, I told you I play on, I play on a Rasher and a Meyer. Um, in the last video, check out the last video, and we're going to put the, the link to the last video on this one. Uh, down, in this, down in the description box, there is some information on, on, the, on those mouthpieces. Uh, and um, on this one, there'll be a read comparison chart that you can that you can have access to. Anyway, we got to get out of here and make room for somebody else. So until we see you again, keep playing.